Khaleesi and welcome back to the gathering. This is a very special gathering. As you can see, I'm back at my niece's house in New Jersey and it's Thanksgiving morning. So this show is called Terry's Two Thanksgivings because not only did Chelsea and I come to New Jersey to have Thanksgiving with Tara, we're going to go back to Hopkinton and have our own family Thanksgiving, family and friend Thanksgiving, on Saturday. So hence, Terry's two Thanksgiving dinners, and who knows how I'm going to put it all together, but we'll see how that turns out, and it should be fun for you too. So, because we're going to have a nice light dessert this Thanksgiving dinner, we decided to put together lemon and raspberry sorbet. So here I have six lemons. I have three cups of fresh raspberries. I have one cup of white sugar and one cup of water. And what we're going to do is I am going to bring the water and the sugar over to the stove and boil the water, dissolve the sugar in it, bring it back over here and with a quarter cup of lemon juice, blend the raspberries with the lemon juice and the sugar water in the blender. And, uh, and then we're gonna put that in the freezer to set and that will be our sorbet. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take a lemon and cut off the top, hollow out the lemon inside after we squeeze it for the juice and make lemon cups. So that'll be a really cute uh, dessert and colorful too, as you can see. So I wanna wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and let's get to it. to pour this in a Pyrex bowl and we're going to freeze this and basically what we're going to do is when we serve it we're going to scrape it and fill the cups and that would be a really nice presentation so I'm going to go do that and then the next thing will be putting the turkey in the oven. So now it's on to the stuffing. I have one package of white bread cubed stuffing. I have one cup of chopped onions, one cup of chopped celery, five tablespoons of butter, and two cups of chicken broth. So I'm going to go over to the stove, melt the butter, saute the onions and the celery, and then come back and mix it all in a bowl with the broth and the cubed stuffing. And, uh, and then we'll get the bird prepped and into the oven. And now I'm going to add the chicken broth and she will stir to incorporate that. So now I'm pouring the broth and the celery and the onions. I'm just going to incorporate it all. We'll let that cool off while I get the bird ready. Be right back. So here's our turkey, the main ingredient for the first of Terry's two Thanksgivings. It's not a big bird, it's 15 pounds because this is going to be a small gathering. Um, just taking butter and I'm rubbing it on the skin all over which this turkey has been washed, rinsed, and patted dry. You don't want to tightly pack it because then it won't cook evenly. And then we're just going to place it in the pan as such. The neck with some more stuffing. And there you have it. 
So I am going to wash my hands and put this in a 325 degree oven for about four and a half hours. So uh, we'll be on to the next dish. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the gravy. And what I have here are the gizzards from the turkey. So we have the neck, the heart, the liver, and the other things that come with the turkey. And here we have carrots and celery and onions. And then we have wine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add all of this in the saucepan on the stove and let it simmer and render down, cover it all with water. And when it gets down to a certain point, I'm gonna add some wine, save the rest for dinner. So we're gonna let this simmer, and now we're going to get on to the potatoes. Okay, so here we are, on to the potatoes, mashed potatoes, so this is real easy. Now, you know, I know you've seen me peel potatoes on a ton of shows, and I do it with a paring knife. I don't know if you've noticed me do it or not, and if I can push this over, because Tara is going to be using, Tara is using, a potato peeler, but I grew up Italians, they cut everything with these. Knives. Knives. You want to eat a pear, you cut a pear like this, and you go like this. Mm. That's what they did. That's how I grew up. And peeling potatoes, just as you've seen me do before, with a knife. Usually not so close to another face, a right. human being. But you did want to help Tara, so we'll, we'll the cut them. Show. And then throw them into boiling water. Oh, we need a pan of boiling water going. All right, so we'll be right back. We'll continue peeling. Here are the potatoes, cut and ready to go into the pot of boiling water for our mashed potatoes. So there you go. And then it'll be on to our next dish, the squash. So here we have butternut squash, cut and ready to go into the boiling water. So I'm going to do that and then get ready for our next dish, the green beans. Be right back. So we've got the turkey in the oven with the stuffing. We've got the potatoes still cooking on the stove with the butternut squash. And here we have the green beans. Now I have two pounds of green beans, one stick of butter, and two teaspoons of chopped garlic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring these over to the stove. I'm going to melt the butter with the garlic and then put the green beans in the fry pan and just slowly saute it while the rest of the meal is coming together. Once I get that on the stove, I'm going to get on to our sit down appetizer. And you'll be surprised what that is. I'll be right back. The gravy, gravy is there cooking, along with the squash and the potatoes. <laughs> so here I am, back to do our special appetizer. So here, as you can see, this is burrata mozzarella. It's a different kind of mozzarella, burrata. Um, it's creamier than your normal mozzarella. And you can, as you can see, it kind of is, is bulbous. It's very soft and creamy. So this is going to be just a nice side sit down appetizer, which is burrata and tomato, which would normally be called a caprese salad, right? You got a little of the Burrata and the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna bring in a little basil and a little balsamic glaze. But here I am, I am cutting this. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's, it's a nice, soft, creamy 
mozzarella in the middle. Now I have to get a close up of this, so hold on one second. And you can see how creamy that burrata is within the shell. And you can see it right there in the background. You can see the shell, which is bulbous, and the soft mozzarella in the middle. Another layer there. So now I'm going to sprinkle with some basil and around the dish. Sprinkle on top and around the dish. Now I'm going to take some balsamic glaze and drizzle it on the plate and over the caprese tower. And there you have it, a nice start to the dinner, a sit-down caprese salad. Now, the turkey's still cooking. I have to mash the potatoes and mash the squash, but that's okay because it's on to the charcuterie. at the end of the first of Terry's two Thanksgivings. And what we have before us is a Thanksgiving charcuterie, which we have hot supper sada, regular hard salami, red grapes, brie cheese, white cheddar sharp, brie with cranberries, and over here we have hummus, Buffalo chicken cheddar spread. Thank you. Fig spread chutney. Fig chutney. And what is this? Bacon, bacon chives. Bacon chives. And pop chips and little um, toasts. Toasts. Petite toasts. And, and Stacy chips. Stacy chips. Love Stacy chips. So here we are. We're going to enjoy these Eat. appetizers and then get ready for dinner. So. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving, number one. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you later. Anish. At the second Terry's Thanksgiving dinner. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. You too. It's Thanksgiving. Love you. Love you. Anish. Love you. Awesome. Ding, ding, ding. Alright. Why? Are you going to be okay? Again? It's got sugar in it. I'll eat it. It's got a lot of sugar in it, Ash. Hey. <laughs> so here you it's are. It's me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Raspberry sorbet in lemon cups. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Woo. Woo. Oh, to H Cam. Woo! H Cam. Hey, Coke spoons. <laughs> Welcome back to Terry's Two Thanksgivings Part Two. As you can see, I'm back in Hopkinton at the gathering. And in front of me, I have the ingredients for our dessert, which is going to be apple crisp. Now, because we already had the first Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving at my niece's house in New Jersey, this Thanksgiving dinner is going to be with different dishes. So I thought apple crisp would be a nice change and we'll serve that with whipped cream. Um, so for ingredients, we have 11 apples. For the filling, we have one cup of sugar four tablespoons of flour, and two tablespoons of lemon. I'll peel and chop the apples and then mix all of that together. And then for the topping, we're going to pulse in the food processor, three sticks of chilled butter in slices, one cup of oats, two and a half cups of flour, one cup of brown sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead and get going with this. I'm going to just start peeling. So here I am with my last apple. I'm going to mix the sugar 
and the flour. Get that all coated. That is Now I'm going to make the topping. Put the butter in, the chilled cubes, and pulse that. Add my oats. And I'm just going to put everything in and get that going. So there you have it, apple crisp. This is going to go in a 350 oven for 45 minutes. Keep a watch on it. When it's nice and golden brown and bubbly, it'll be done. And now it's on to the next dish, roasted balsamic Brussels sprouts. So here I have two pounds of Brussels sprouts um, cleaned. I have a quarter cup of olive oil and a half cup of balsamic vinegar. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drizzle the olive oil over the Brussels sprouts, get them all nice evenly coated, and I'm going to put them on this prepared baking sheet in one layer. So now I'm going to throw these in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'll keep a watch on them. And the balsamic vinegar I'm going to put on the stove and I'm going to reduce it until I get a nice syrupy glazy consistency. Now it'll be on to the next dish. And now it's on to the cornbread stuffing. Here I have two packages of Jiffy cornbread mix, which I made last night, crumbled. Here is two cups of chopped celery, one cup of chopped onion mixed together, two cups of chicken broth, two tablespoons of sage dried, and two eggs. So what I'm going to do is I am going to bring the celery over to the stove and saute it in a half a stick of butter. And once that is done, I'll bring it back over, incorporate everything, and uh, get it in the oven. Into the oven they go. And I'm adding the chicken broth and the two eggs and the dried sage. I'm going to mix this all up. And here you have it, cornbread stuffing ready to go in the oven. Now here we are on to Turkey number two. And again, it's patted dry and I'm not doing anything special with this. So again, I'm just going to rub the turkey with some butter. So again, nothing too fancy or crazy, just another turkey going into the oven. So here are the Brussels sprouts. Aren't they lovely? Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Balsamic glaze. This is one tablespoon, as you can see. I'm going to drizzle it. And then I'm going to coat. So here you have it. Balsamic roasted Brussels sprouts. On to the next dish.
And now that I have the turkey in the oven, I do have three more dishes to make, but we need to get the gravy going. So again, Coppola wine, we just love it in this household, that's for sure. So I'm gonna pour some in this pot over here. And I have onions and celery left over from the other dishes. And again, the gizzards, the neck, the heart, the liver. Throw that in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add water up to about, oh, maybe two thirds of the way. And I'm gonna throw this on the back of the stove and just let this simmer all afternoon. And now it's on to the cheesy onion casserole. Here I have three large yellow onions sliced, two cups of shredded Swiss cheese, two thirds cup of milk, one teaspoon of soy sauce, three tablespoons of butter, one can of cream of chicken soup undiluted, and one French loaf baguette sliced and toasted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to saute the onions, get them nice and soft in the butter. While that's going in that pan, in the other pan I am going to put the milk and the, the cream of chicken soup and the soy sauce, melt that all together, and then we're going to incorporate it all in this pan. So, uh, meet you at the stove. So here is the cheesy onion casserole ready to be put in the oven. It has a layer of the onions, a layer of the soup mixture, half of the Swiss cheese, and topped with the toasted baguettes. Now this is gonna go in a 350 oven then I'm, for a half an hour. Then I'm gonna pull it out and sprinkle the rest of the shredded Swiss cheese and melt that. Now it's on to the last side dish before I do the appetizer. Then I'm gonna have to get the table ready. Time's marching on. So now I'm on to my last dish, potatoes au gratin. I have here five pounds of potatoes, two cups of shredded white cheddar cheese, one cup of chopped onion, six tablespoons of flour, six tablespoons of butter, and four cups of milk. So what I'm gonna be doing, once I slice these potatoes, actually I think I'll get this going now. I'm going to bring this over to the stove, melt the butter, and incorporate all these ingredients. Um, I'll first do the butter and the flour to be like a berry mene, which will be a thickening agent. Then I'll come over and add all the other ingredients. I'm gonna let that really heat up. I'm gonna let this come to a boil. I'm going to continuously stir it so that it doesn't burn. Now I'm going to slowly add the cheese. Melt that all in. Now, here's our sauce. Okay, <laughs> so here you have it. Two potato au gratin casseroles, ready to go in the 350 oven. Now we're going to bake this for one hour covered and then for the last half hour we're going to take the cover off so get nice and brown so these are going to go in and the very last thing i have to put together is the appetizer and that's going to go real quick so i'll be right back well here I am with the very last dish to prepare, the artichoke spinach dip. It's one of Chelsea's favorites, 
and it's the only appetizer we're going to have tonight so i wanted to make sure it was something that she absolutely loves so here I have two packages of frozen chopped spinach thawed and squeezed out. I've got two cans of artichoke hearts packed in water, drained and chopped. I have a half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one cup of sour cream, eight ounces of cream cheese, and one teaspoon of garlic. So what I'm going to do is just mix all of this together in this bowl and put it in here and bake it at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. And here's the table. And for a centerpiece I used a wreath that my mother made out of pine cones many years ago. And in the center is a candle burning that was given to me upon her death. It's just a reminder of how grateful I am for the family I've had, the family I have, and the family we're going to have. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, so here we are at the end of another episode of The Gathering, and this is Terry's Two Thanksgivings, Part 2. And here we have Chelsea and her very good friend, John. And as you know, uh, we're, we have a big meal ahead of us uh, with nice different dishes, different than we had in New Jersey for our first Thanksgiving dinner. So I want to thank you all for coming and uh, catch us next time at the gathering. Cheers. Cheers. Here's the age camp. Come down on Thanksgiving morning and join us for the Hopkin and Lacrosse second annual turkey trot. It's going to be a 2.5 mile course around the high school and supporting fields. Registration can be done on the link below. The race starts at 7.30 in the morning and all proceeds go directly to the Hopkins and Lacrosse program. If you're free, come down and burn some calories before the big meal.